Well, I got on the bus to Dudley, so I'm back to work today, doing some training. First time I did it since November, which I took a little break because my uncle passed away from health issues last Christmas. But that was, wasn't the Christmas break I wanted. I just wanted a normal Christmas break until my uncle's death struck me. I was devastated when my uncle passed. I'd seen him for the final time at the funeral home, and then I kept a serious face and stood strong. That's what I do. But losing your loved ones, but you know that time has come. Because like my uncle Paul told me one day we were walking back saying we can't live forever. We live our life to the fullest if it's long, short. You know. But that's what I mean. I'm back to AWW today, doing the bumps and selling and training. I've been practicing selling and taking bumps over the Christmas period. <laughs> but I'm back. I had a busy week. Just been walking around very well. Being super busy. Me being Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce Wayne and Tommy Harlan together. I to drive to an old friend, Charlie. So, we talked about the BS that Richard and Dan left the company because Ricky wants to be the promoter. Dan was a to well with shows. But they left and even. They never leave AWW. No matter what the cost is, and I do not listen to the BS. And in other news. Dave Massett is the head coach of AWW, but I'm excited to work with a former WWE superstar. It's like the saying, never meet your heroes, but I am meeting him next week, or next month, I don't know yet. I'm excited to work with him. First day I went to the Chitty Chatty Cafe in very uh, community where you can chat to people, stop people from being lone wolves. Well, I'm a bit of a lone wolf sometimes, but I just chat with them as I've been interviewed, talking about wrestling and stuff. And, and one of the girls thinks I'm taken or not, but I told them I'm single. A single bee always gets what they want. But I'm back today, and I'll be doing it every Sundays, and shows on Saturdays, February 11th, AWW, break, ah, pay-per-view, AWW show, at February 11th, get ready, tickets are on sale, buy your tickets, and make sure you be there to watch the wrestlers perform, like, guys like Troy Jones, Action Steel, my mentors, also known as my masters, Cedric Cedric, I don't know if I'm wrestling this year or not, but I might wrestle sometime this year, later along the line, but we'll see, we'll see what I'm doing. Well, and another thing, I'll be I'll be busy tomorrow and all this week is like working with someone, like a dream come true. But Nan's gonna have her eye surgery it's because she had that poorly eye, that lazy eye, ever since my uncle passed away, and he had the hear, she had the hearing aid as well. well she's deaf hearing. Still work out and go swimming. 
that never stopped me there. But the main reason, the real reason I stopped me, I stopped myself from going to AWW because my, um, my uncle passed, like I told you earlier, it made me feel devastated. I didn't burst into tears or anything. I was devastated, shocked to you, say, to learn that Dougie's dead. Which time flies. Doesn't it? I'm not gonna say what Kevin Nash said, but enough with the de Dougie's death experience and uh, had in the past. I think, focus what I'm doing right now. Be who you want to be. Don't follow their dreams. Don't follow anyone else's dreams or anybody's. Just be who you want to be. Well, I'm going to leave it there. If you like that video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you on the next video.